Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome here. Subscribers, I love you. I appreciate you. I thank you guys. Guys, don't forget the month of February. I've been doing free readings. I've already had people take advantage you know of the free readings and I totally appreciate you guys giving me the opportunity and um, you know just email me or you can you know text me you know let me know what your situation is okay so we're here doing a video for Gemini this is for February the 16th to the 29th this is a general reading it is for Sun Moon Rising and Venus Gemini, I've already um, shuffled the cards, prayed over them, and um, saged them, and laid them down for time purposes, okay? So, Gemini, your overall energies that I got from the wisdom of the oracle is come to the edge. This is one of your cards that came out for your overall energies. Come to the edge. This is the full in the regular um, tarot. And it looks like you're ready to go on your journey, you know. You're ready to start something brand new. And 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 then the, the card that you got at the bottom of the deck is New Beginnings. New beginnings. This is starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So yeah, you're starting a new beginning. This is a this new beginning to me is like the Ten of Cups. This is like emotional fulfillment. It's what you're getting, you know, at this is what your energy is at this time. You also have the solutions card at the bottom of the deck, which is the temperance card. So you're healing from your past. You're getting yourself balanced. And, um, yeah, you're being guided here. You're being, you're being divinely guided. This is, you know, self-control and patience. Forgiving and healing energy with, is with the temperance card. And your next card that came out was the Be Fair card. To me, I... I this is the justice card because I see the scales here. This is, you know, getting balanced and you aren't getting yourself balanced because we do have the temperance card. But this is, this is being, you know, this is equal. You know, things being equal and balanced. So these are your overall energies, okay? The card that came out for you is change your life. This is the tower card in the regular tarot. So something unexpected did happen here. There was something that was not stable or grounded here, Gemini. This is a sudden revelation that offers freedom. This is break free of procrastination and embrace the opportunity that change brings. So something, like I said, something unexpected did happen because something was not grounded. Something was very faulty and universe came in and it, it had to go but gemini you know change is good because after this change came you're going you're moving into new beginnings you're moving into new passionate beginnings that universe is offering you this is a gift of passion opportunity and inspiration this is a chance to do something amazing this is a sense of wonder so you're starting something new and creative. It could be, you know, a new job. You could be starting a new job. Could be starting your own business too. This is something new and creative that the universe is giving you the opportunity for. Okay, your your um, third card out is the Knight of Ariel. This is the Knight of Pentacles. This is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn you could be dealing with. We also have Leo, Sag, Aries on the table. Um, with the tower could be Scorpio um, with the Sun could be Leo we got water Pisces can Pisces cancer Scorpio on the table and we have air like yourself Gemini Libra and Aquarius 
So this Knight of Pentacles, this is a trustworthy person, understanding, devoted, and, you know, um, there's so much to accomplish here. Make a very detailed plan. This is being watched over by someone kind. So you're wanting to offer something here, Gemini, but you're not really sure about it yet. And you know how earth signs are, you know, they kind of take their time. They're very methodical. They dot their I's, cross their T's. They, 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 they're very, they are patient and they take their time at, you know, when it's something that they really want, they really take their time to make sure, you know, it is what it is. So pretty much that's what you're doing. You, 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 you are being patient. You're taking your time, but you wanted to offer something to someone. And the next card you had out is the sun card. Ooh, ooh that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Gemini, your life is truly changing for the better. This is for the better. That tower came in at the perfect time and it needed to, to clean out the stuff that was no longer serving you because you are going moving totally to a new direction and it's going to be even better, babe. This is the sun. This is life is wonderful. This is opportunities. This is being optimistic. This is happy family, happy wife. I mean, this is the most beautiful card in the tarot, the sun card, you know. This is you thrive through the power of positive thinking. This is, you know, this is inspiring success. This is beautiful. Beautiful, 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 Gemini. And then we have the four of Raphael, which is the four of cups. So this is seeking out other possibilities. This is somebody is possibly not totally fulfilled. Um, this is being aware of your emotions. This is thinking about your past. But Gemini, there's something in front of your face that universe is offering you. And you're not seeing it. But if you look up, Gemini, you're going to see what you have right in front of you, you know? And then your next card out is Epiphany. This is the Hermit card. This is you going within. This is um, joy through spiritual growth. This is a being, a, a being a light to others. This is going within to find answers. This is meditation. So you're you're stepping you you're taking a step back and you're looking over your life right now, Gemini, because you want things to change. You're moving forward. You're moving into a different realm of your life. And you're, you know, you're meditating on it. There's something there's something there's something that you want to answer to also, Gemini. And that meditation is going to bring that answer to you. Your last card out is the Seven of Michael, which is the Seven of Swords. This could be somebody trying to get away with something, Gemini. Um, you know, this is a better course of action. Um, this could be working alone, you know, like us, like the hermit, working alone. But mm, it may not always be the best answer. You know, you need to review all your details, you know. But like I said, this could be somebody sneaking away. This could be somebody trying to um, get away with something too, Gemini. So let's go ahead and quickly clarify and get you a little bit more information. The tower. Why is the tower here? The change, change your life. Why is that here? Why is that here for Gemini? Why is that here for Gemini? Understand something, Gemini. No matter what the situation is, we got the sun cord here. And everything is going to be good at the end of the day. For the tower card, we got the queen of cups. So you could have had something unexpected go down with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, Gemini. Um, you know, the Queen of Cups, this is a very intuitive person, very nurturing. Um, she takes care of her family. She handles her business. The Queen of Cups, 
she's looking at this cup like she wants to offer it but really not sure she's not really sure so something unexpected did happen with this queen of cups um gemini this possibly could be someone that you know you're wanting to offer something to also but you guys are not sure you're not really sure mm. we got the emperor here this could be your energy you know being all controlling <laughs> this is uh this could be a ceo boss father figure the emperor is usually a married guy hmm Hmm. Ah. Wow. This is usually a family man. But something unexpected happened there. Um someone is just not sure uh what they wanted this time. The ace of wands. Why are you here? Yeah, someone want a, a brand new beginning, a brand new passion to begin in here with a soulmate connection here. This is a person, this could have been a, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. This is someone you feel eye to eye with, Cancer. Um, you guys, you feel like you guys are on the same page. And you guys have a lot of passion for each other. But something unexpected went down here. The Two of Cups is being clarified by the stars. So someone still has hope in this situation. Yeah, this is healing. This is wishing. This is making. This is hoping. You know. This is getting your balance. This is also things going on behind the scenes, Gemini. This is things going on behind the scenes. Got we got universe here in this. Um, we got the Eight of Pentacles. So you want to work on this situation with this person. You do want a second chance here with the judgment. The Knight of Pentacles. So maybe you're wanting to go ahead and offer this. The Knight of Pentacles. Oh, you're feeling regret about something. You're feeling regret, but all is not lost. You still got them two of cups right here. You got those two of cups. That's like this four of cups. You know, thinking that this is going to be a missed opportunity. But if you look up, you know... And try to figure out what went wrong in this situation. Because something did go wrong. You got regrets here. The five of cups is being clarified by the king of cups. You, This is your soulmate, Gemini. This is a soulmate connection here. That's the king of cups. And now I think you're wanting to really offer something now. You love this person. You got emotions. You got deep emotions for this person. But you're not, you're not expressing you're not expressing those emotions, and I believe that's what you need to do, Gemini. The sun is here. Like I said, at the end of the day, it's all going to be good. Yep, we got the sun again. It's all going to be good here. OMG. The Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is being clarified by the Ten of Swords. So someone is thinking, this is, the, this is coming to an end of a difficult situation, but somebody is thinking about the things that went on in the past. No doubt about it. It's time to let that go because you're at the end of a difficult situation. Why is the hermit here? Hermit is being clarified by the devil. Hello. Um, Like I said, you got a lot of passion for this person. You could probably be feel, feeling like you're very totally bond to this person. Um, there could be some obsessions going on here, Gemini, and some addictions. Okay? This is possibly why you have to step back. And check yourself. Yep. Why is the devil here? Yep. You want a new beginning with this person. And um, universe is offering that new um, abundant beginning here. You could be a little obsessed with this person too, Gemini. The seven of swords. Yep. Somebody was being sneaky here. Somebody was being sneaky here. Because clarifying the seven of swords is the ten of cups this is emotional fulfillment but as i was saying with this emperor being a family man there could be a family involved here that someone does not know about but they know about it now they know about it now gemini one more card for this 10 yeah someone has been enlightened and they're they got a different perspective on things so that's probably why you had this tower moment 
Gemini. Wow. Your advice at the end of the day is the Nine of Pentacles. Someone is possibly going to be single but abundant. And this is possibly how they want it, you know, to be single and abundant. Instead of going through any type of situations here, Gemini. Okay, Gemini, if that resonated with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.